Today we're doing Lesson 65 from the Workbook of Course in Miracles. Lesson 65. My only function is the one God gave me. My only function is the one God gave me. The idea for today reaffirms your commitment to salvation. It also reminds you that you have no function other than that. Both these thoughts are obviously necessary for a total commitment. Salvation cannot be the only purpose you hold while you still cherish others. The full acceptance of salvation as your only function necessarily entails two phases. The recognition of salvation as your function and the relinquishment of all the other goals you have invented yourself. This is the only way in which you can take your rightful place among the saviors of the world. This is the only way in which you can say and mean, my only function is the one God gave me. This is the only way in which you can find peace of mind. Today, and for a number of days to follow, Set aside 10 to 15 minutes for a more sustained practice period in which you try to understand and accept what the idea for the day really means. Today's idea offers you escape from all your perceived difficulties. It places the key to the door of peace, which you have closed upon yourself, in your own hands. It gives you the answer to all the searching you have done since time began. Try, if possible, to undertake the daily extended practice periods at approximately the same time each day. Try also to determine this time in advance and then adhere to it as closely as possible. The purpose of this is to arrange your day so that you have set apart the time for God as well as for all the trivial purposes and goals you will pursue. <laughs> this is part of the long-range disciplinary training your mind needs so that the Holy Spirit can use it consistently for the purpose He shares with you. For the longer practice period, begin by refuting the idea for the day. My only function is the one God gave me. Then close your eyes the idea to yourself once again, and watch your mind carefully to catch whatever thoughts cross it. At first, make no attempt to concentrate only on thoughts related to the idea for the day. Rather, try to uncover each thought that arises to interfere with it. Note each one as it comes to you with as little involvement or concern as possible, dismissing each one by telling yourself, this thought reflects a goal that is preventing me from accepting my only function. After a while, interfering thoughts will become harder to find. Try, however, to continue a minute or so longer, attempting to catch a few of the idle thoughts that escaped your attention before, but do not strain or make undue effort in doing this. Then tell yourself, on this clean slate, let my true function be written for me. You need not use these exact words, but try to get the sense of being willing to have your illusions of purpose be replaced by truth. Finally, repeat the idea for today once more, and devote the rest of the practice period to trying to focus on its importance to you. The relief its acceptance will bring you by resolving your conflicts once and for all, and the extent to which you really want salvation, in spite of your own foolish ideas to the contrary. <laughs> in the shorter practice periods, which should be undertaken at least once an hour, use this form in applying today's idea. My only function is the one God gave me. I want no other, and I have no other. Sometimes close your eyes as you practice this, and sometimes keep them open and look about you. 
It is what you see now that will be totally changed when you accept today's idea completely. That's lesson 65. My only function is the one God gave me. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresacy.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.